Hello my beautiful souls, welcome to this reading, it's Mia here and welcome, welcome to this channel. I really hope you're doing well. Are you doing well? Okay, that's good, thumbs up indeed. Right, what we're doing today, we are going to do pivot card reading for what are your desires? What are your secret desires? What it is that you really, really want? Maybe you are aware of it, maybe you have forgotten about it, maybe you are not aware or whatever it is, we'll find out. And we'll find out as well, maybe what kind of action to take, what advice you need to achieve, what is sitting in your heart that is so much you perhaps want to achieve, see, do, have, whatever it is. Now, I'm going to have picked um, three cards. And if you already chosen, I'll put the timestamps uh, where we're choosing the cards. Um, we have group number one will have a key. I love these cards. They're so great. We have money. Money, money, baby. And we have the ship. You can choose whichever you want. I'm, I'm going to put down, a, keep a card for each one of them. And then I am going to clarify with Tarot as well. Alrighty. Your desires. Group number one. Okay, group number two. Yay, that was so super fast. <laughs> and group number three. Yep, that is coming out as well. Okay, let me make them nice and clear. Okay. So group number one, two, three, key, money, and ship. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's find out your desires, your secret desires. Group number one, if you chose this card, key, this message is for you. We're going to have a look at your desires. We're going to have a look at how to achieve them, what advice you need to know. Are you ready? Okay. Straight away, I feel like this is card of unlocking, unlocking potential or closing doors and locking doors and moving on. But this is definitely very decisive energy here. Okay. So if you chose the um, key, it feels like you have that part in you. Maybe you're not using it as much, but I feel like you are very good on um, finding things. You're very invent, like you can invent things. You are very creative. Uh, in, in in arts and in any in any area you are very knowledgeable you are not afraid to express what you think and ideas okay you're very um like a little bit like a pioneer a little bit but at the same time you are more than happy to block out people from your life and move on you don't dwell on things that's what I'm feeling here right what are your desires? community oh i'm just seeing someone says i want a family i want to feel belonging look the family and i have been saying this for a long long time mm -hmm. the family could be your actually family your mom dad granddad and so on so it could be your work colleagues where you feel like you're belonging it could be your peer group very where i'm talking about now as desiring community i feel like more of in spiritual um level having that connection with people and perhaps you may may not have a person that you can be who you are with but it could be so that you there, you, there is something within you that you feel like you have no one to speak to about it could be your spirituality it could be your experiences it could be anything Okay, it could be uh, the way you see world, the way you see people, the way you see yourself, whatever that is. It feels like you don't really have a person or you may have lost a person. It feels like you really would love to have someone to speak to. It feels like um, kind of belong as if like you're looking for that connection. Very, very strong connection here. You're looking for that. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. So, your deep desires. 
I feel like some of you are actually are looking um either you're filling in those ancestor um tests whatever they are dna tests and it could be some of you are actually looking for a family member or belonging maybe you have been growing up in children's home whatever you're looking for your siblings or your parents i feel like you are searching for something are you searching for it could be some of you as well you're searching for your soul's purpose you're searching for belonging the purpose your life's purpose itself okay okay here we go look how interesting is this we have the ten of cups which is definitely about community and family the story is very ever so interesting okay i feel like there's a lot of stuff on your chest right now there's a lot of um a lot of things happening and you really need to have kind of like mm, and you feel like no i can't take time out i can't do this you have so much stuff happening right now but i feel like in the midst of that you are doing something very really, really very good and what i'm feeling here is somehow you are connecting with your um, kind of positive side. And what I mean by that is, especially when you are doing meditation or not thinking of something, you have the most, most beautiful ideas coming your way. So listen to that intuitive side, okay? Listen to that intuitive side. I think as well, some of you are taking yourself very, very seriously. Uh, yes. You're very generous as well. This card is keep coming out as well. Look, whatever you journey on to find your desire, either this is actual family, is this a person to build a family with, or whatever it is, it's not going to happen overnight. It will be a journey. I'm feeling this is journey going to be successful, but I have to say it is going to be, it takes some time. Several. I'm seeing like several seasons, several kind of, moon phases even you know um it's it's not going to be like a straightforward there will be twists and turns any advice any else other kind of advice you are on the right path okay you're on the right path and you will have some support there will be someone who's helping you um either with information about your family or your purpose or or books or whatever i feel like yeah look on the same level this is how you want to feel and you're gonna get there you are going to get there look we have an ace of wands it's like a yes from universe on your own time it's but is this gonna happen overnight no but i think in fact this is one thing very very important i'm gonna say now the journey to discover your desire is gonna be more significant when you're looking back than the the end result itself and what i mean by that people you're going to meet on this journey to, to fulfill this desire what things that you're going to experience are going to be very significant there will be ups and downs as i have very okay but you're going to learn so much about yourself about life and you will say it was well worth it and the journey itself thought you will teach you much more than the purpose maybe or this fulfilling desire itself amazing thank you that's all i have for you today i hope it helps i hope it helps indeed right group number one that's all i had for you my beautiful souls okay let's open the shuffle Okay, okay. Group number two. Hello. If you chose money bag, little Sasha, the money coins, this is for you. I'm feeling strong, son. I took this card. I know probably because the yellow dress as well. I feel like you have so much sun in your heart. Literally, you you have beautiful smile. You are, um, you light up the room when you walk in. You have that kind of, um. You're the life of the party, basically, you know. I feel like you feel you kind of connect people together. You have that 
peacekeeper kind of role or something. Um, I think you're a happy all around person. Indeed, even though we're looking at money and we always very often we would associate, oh, money has to be someone that wants to just money and and is um, financially deprived. No, no, no. I'm feeling on this card. If you chose this card, I feel like you have so much love to give, so much sun to give, uh, to spread the light across. Uh, let's have a look at your desires, your secret desires, your concepts, or conscious, whatever they are. And well, advice you need to know or have to achieve it <laughs> let's have a look oh my goodness you can't make this up look we have the money money okay so i have to say guys you have this desire maybe winning lottery maybe you have a desire to save enough money to go on a trip and this is a desire that you have and this is not just for yourself i feel like you want to share this maybe you want to take the videos and share it on social media whatever i feel like with this money with this opportunity with this having this desire um you want to improve not just your own life but others as well i feel like very strong selflessness here okay but this selflessness selflessness if i can get it out it's actually very like a in a healthy way it's not like you are suffering or some sort of martyr right and giving up the last penny to everyone else and going without but i feel like you are going to be very lucky you 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 definitely you have luck on your side there is a lot of synchronicities there's a lot of things that you want in your life and you're going to get them because like i feel like you guys you are born under a very very lucky star mm -hmm. oh yeah <laughs> let's have a look how to achieve what you want i feel like some of you want to either travel or build something have a some sort of classes teaching classes or something along the lines here okay let's have a look oh we need to know more about this let's have a look hmm I feel like there's one only thing here that to achieve this, you need to let go of something. I don't know what it is. Maybe um, it feels like you have a lot of stuff in your life, either in your house or in your, I will, I'm going to say the word clutter, maybe hoarding a little bit. You know, I feel like for this item, for this opportunity, for this energy to come in your life, I feel like you need to create space like literally physical space for it there is too much something around you that you need to have a kind of you know they say like if you want to movement in your house or in your life you need to move 27 uh, things around your house right and i feel like in your life you need to actively get rid of stuff that is um, um that you don't use if you don't love it or if you don't use it it's a trash not not necessarily like that but yeah have a put in a on the garage or whenever in storage or something i feel like you really need to have a space that's what spirit is saying okay let's have a look Ooh. okay thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you this sudden wells, this desire is going to come when you are ready, when you have decluttered and when you take action. We have two swords actively. Either it's through the work and it's going to be very strange. Maybe you, you want, I'm going to give you an example. Maybe you want to give classes or something and you like saying, okay, I need money to uh, rent a room or something and get customers or patients in, right? But someone is saying, make it happen. And once you are doing it, even in smaller, smaller uh, room or maybe doing online, it will come then when you are actively involved. The universe just really want to see you being participating. See the light of sleep flickering. The universe really wants to see you committing to this. Because maybe when the money comes for the rent or whatever, for the premises, you might chicken out. 
And I'm going to say that. Chicken out. That's what it came in. Okay. Spirit is talking funny language today. I don't use these sort of words. Um, It's so strange. Like, if, I feel like this desire, this whatever you wish for, is going to come while you actually doing it. So start small. You might need to apply yourself. You might need to maybe um, create a room. Yes, that's why you need a room. That's why you need a room. You maybe need to have a room in your house if you can or, or even a desk or something where you're doing it. So you need to create this room and place where you're starting. Either you st maybe you want a classes in the future, but start maybe video them and put them up in YouTube or whenever else and kind of like literally uh, start doing it and the inspiration will come, the support will come and everything will come as you are doing it. Not before, not after, while you're doing it. And it's actually going to come when you least need it. Trust me, you're going to feel like, oh my God, I'm already set up. I'm actually doing so well. And I hope, I thought I needed maybe a lot of money. It's going to come in a mysterious way. You will, there could be um, maybe money, could be some support. There could be even a person dropping in some check or, or some sort of support and without you knowing, okay? Whatever the desire that it is that you want. But I feel like you will, you will start small. You will start small and you're going to grow and enjoy whatever it is you want. And actually when you are already hitting the success button or success kind of level, it's going to explode big huge you will not expect it because someone is going to be supporting you here it will be really nice surprise but you have done the work if you don't do nothing you have free choice of course okay this is you you're going to be so much enjoying uh, good times and the money is going to come in as well but you need to be proactively involved there yeah, I feel like you're gonna either going to be helping heal children's hearts or people's souls because this is a card of healing. Whatever you do, either you're selling stones or crystals or giving um, lessons, whatever. You're going to be opening up you know, dreams to other people. You're going to help people to help themselves. You're going to help people to help themselves. But you got to start. Okay. That's all I have for you. <laughs> all right, and the beautiful souls, group number two. That's all I have for you. Thank you so much for being here. Let's have a look. Group number three. Hello, hello, hello. Um, if you chose the ship, group number three. Mm. Okay. Um. <laughs> There is a lot of um, uncertainty a little bit in your life right now, uh, mixed with the excitement of the future. There is a lot of um, dreams right now in your mind, a um, lot of if, buts and maybes, a lot of things have to fall in place for something to happen. But somehow you actually are, are enjoying this period of time, like... Um, it's kind of like, you know, the period between the seasons, you know, like when the summer um, ends and then there's an autumn and then it cools down, the, the leaves fall down and there's a quietness and stillness in the, in, in the nature until the snow comes. If you ever understand this, just thumbs up, you understand what I mean. Is this stillness that you're, okay, even when you breathe in and then you hold the breath and then you release it, it's that bit when you're holding breath. You're waiting for something to happen and you kind of, you know it's happening, but it's not there yet. <laughs> if that makes sense. But you already kind of envision, like in your mind, you envisage already what it is, what you want. In fact, you're very good on manifestation. You're so good, you're not even worried if something's happening or not. Right, let's have a look at your um, desires. And how to obtain them. Oh my goodness. Unexpected income. Isn't this interesting? We have 57 and 27. Synchronicity. See? Universe. Amazing. Okay. 
I have to say, guys, you are one of those people. You are lucky as well, similar like group two, but you are a little bit different. You sometimes you could be a ducker and diver a little bit. And you're waiting for the penny to drop, <laughs> the other shoe to drop. And as I said, you are waiting for, this is some sort of, not blockage, but there's some sort of, um, maybe needs to align the frequency, maybe universe needs to align people in the line for something to happen in your life, right? And your desire is coming. Can you see what's happening here? So the coin has left, and this is so interesting, I just described this. The coin has left this person's hand. Yet it hasn't landed in yours. It's the moment in between. That in betweennessness. That is so interesting. That is so interesting. I feel like some of you guys are doing something if you're working full time. Uh, you're doing something on a side hustle, or maybe you need to start to do something. If you don't like that word, that's fine. It's just something doing extra. Um, um, having a, some sort of hobby turn monetization, monetization. God, if I can get the words out, I feel like you you want something more. What you have, and it's not just money wise, but it feels like satisfaction, fulfilling dreams, um, something you want. Uh, it could be some extraordinary, perhaps thing. And maybe there's something that you are not sure yet. Okay. Yeah. You kind of, I feel like some of you are actually are very focused on, I need to figure out where I'm going, what I'm doing. You're very, uh, are you Virgo or Capricorn? Very earth, um, uh, earthy kind of uh, signs I'm feeling. Someone who is really over analyzing certain things, perhaps. Um, what else do you need to know? See, King of Swords. You're very logical. You're very logical. Yeah, interesting. We have Virgo here. Hermit. You're searching. Hermit is he who um, shows the way. A lot of soul searching. Hmm. It could be as well that you are, let me have a look. I need to clarify something. There's some sort of mystery around here. You want to be the top in the class. I feel like some of you maybe want to prove something to someone. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Yeah. Happy ever after. Look how the light was flickering. But what I said was interesting. We have... The High Priestess. And this is some sort of secrecies around. And maybe it's a time for you to figure out. Um, and I feel like you're doing so as well. Uh, figure out your path. Figure out your purpose. Figure out uh, what makes you tick. What you like. What you don't like. And maybe the point is this. Not to discuss with others who don't understand you. Because I feel like they might be talking you out of certain things that you want. Okay. And... And there could be some sort of crazy dream that you want, okay? And I feel like by being very analytic and very um, very straightforward, very literal, literal, um, it doesn't make sense. There's something that you can't put on the paper. There's something you can't maybe even put in the words. Very abstract, I know, I know, but it's something huge. And maybe no one understands you, hence you can't put... In words, you can't put on a paper. Advice. I feel like you have this kind of... You have such a big dream. That does the dream itself looks so big. That you kind of sometimes don't believe it. <laughs> Maybe the desire, okay. Maybe break down in smaller steps. And don't be harsh on yourself, okay. Let's have a look. What advice you need to know? Yeah, definitely. Your intuition, your passion. Let the passion, what you like, lead the way. 
Let things that you enjoy lead the way and this unexpected other income or monetization will manifest in your life. And I feel like sometimes people say, I don't know what my passion is. Okay, start just doing what you like. What makes you happy? You know that, you know, like, you know, do you like music, this music or that music? It's very straightforward, you know, like, I'm just talking basically. And I feel like this, don't compare yourself to this. This is number one. And really let, be bonkers, be crazy. You have strong, look, we have the Leo kind of energy here as well. Um, which is trying to, s s like, seep through um, th that overthinking sometimes. And it's trying to, sometimes this overthinking too, or analyzing too, literal is, suppre is suppressing your um, passion for something that you want to do, or is suppressing your cre creative side, and kind of like a zest for life. Be the queen, and do what you want, ever you want to do. And through that, expect unexpected. Okay. Because you are not everyday person. No, 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 no. You have dreams that no one else perhaps actually ever thought of dreaming or desires, right? You um, you have bigger than life. And not everyone will understand you. But that's fine. And keep yourself to yourself. Okay? Don't be scared to be um, having lunch on your own, whatever. Or doing or being on your own path on your own. Because once you reach the top, once you reach your place, oh boy, oh boy, you will have so much followers, so much, um, you, you, once you find your voice, your audience will find you, not the other way around, okay? I feel like you're quite quirky, quite quirky, indeed. All right, beautiful souls, that's all I have for you regarding your desires, I hope this helps, if it does. Thumbs up if you feel like this is your kind of place. Please support me in my channel and subscribe, like, and comment. And um, yeah, there's a lot of lot of um, videos and a lot of readings to enjoy. Uh, pop in my channel and have a look as well. Alrighty, love and light and abundance. And I'll see you guess where in the next reading. Ta da!